lemon chicken. And it's been done in the sous vide, and I did not show that process. I've already sous vide this for 90 minutes. Three chicken breasts in here. And, uh, oh, excuse me, just two big chicken breasts. That's right, that's right. Two big chicken breasts, not three. I had some extras, but I didn't do them. So I did two big chicken breasts for 90 minutes. Just put a garlic, salt, pepper blend on it, on each side and a little, a little dash of oil, and 90 minutes, I don't think, 150 degrees, so it just goes in the pot. Now I'll be showing, this is all the ingredients I'm using, and you see the ingredient list, so we'll go to the next step. Okay, we take a little olive oil, and a little bit of uh, butter, and we're getting the skillet kind of hot. It's not sizzling yet, These are really big chicken breasts. Sometimes I uh, butterfly them, but I did not butterfly those. That's why I'm only using two because be a half per person. Well, we're browning up nice now. Uh, I just want to let you know that this is a, a process. I did put a little bit more seasoning on here and a little dash of paprika, which always helps it brown up a little bit. It just kind of helps on the browning, and I like the flavor of it as well. So not something that's mentioned in the notes, just something I did. So it's optional. And these are, like I said, fully cooked, so sous vide. So I'm going to get a plate and take these off and start making the sauce. Since they are fully cooked inside, and they'll be added back to the sauce as well. So now, we are going to start adding a little bit of onions and yellow peppers. Just sauteing them for a few minutes. Before I add the garlic. I'm now squeezing the garlic. I really filled it up. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. This is the low sodium chicken stock. Probably about a cup worth for starters. And about two teaspoons of capers to it. A little salty flavor. A little bit of cracked fresh pepper. We'll be adding the lemon zest and the lemon juice kind of towards the end of the process. I need to get the white wine. I did not bring that, so 
Okay, I have the white wine now. And I have reduced this quite a bit, probably adding about three quarters of a cup of white wine for starters anyway. So let me just put another dash of chicken stock in there with it, since I've reduced so much, another half a cup or so. Continuing to just simmer. I'm just getting a tasting spoon. Definitely a little, a little bit of seasoning. I'm putting a garlic, salt, pepper blend in there. chicken stock. I don't think I'll be adding any more wine. I think that's enough wine. This is just a white wine. As you can see. Nothing too expensive. But something I would drink even though I don't drink a lot of wine. I'm not a big wine drinker. I drink a beer occasionally. I'm now going to add the chicken back into it with the juices that came off of the chicken, which isn't a lot since this stuff was. a little more butter because I think it needs a flavor more than anything else. I just added the lemon zest and now you're seeing me juice the lemon. I may put it up that was half of a half lemon because it's really a big lemon. Okay. Now I'm adding some heavy cream to it, probably about a half a cup. Slowly incorporate this and reduce it. So help take out a little bit of the wine and lemony, zesty flavor. Even though we want the lemon flavor, but we don't want it, you know, too acidy. So this will help cut a little bit on that acid. A little bit more cracked black pepper. And I may be putting a shot of uh, Parmesan cheese in there as well. Well, here's our finished product. I have cooked the pasta, uh, poured the sauce over the pasta, mixed it in, put some fresh Parmesan cheese on it, and I've cut the chicken breast in half. We're just going to have half each, topped it with a lemon. But this will be dinner tonight. Simple and delicious.